Hello there, everybody. Welcome to some more WADs with Seth. Today we're going to be doing Vanguard, released in 2011, and actually won a CAC award, which is pretty freaking awesome. Now, I've already played through it last night on Ultraviolence, which we will do, because I don't want anyone calling me, Yo, you suck, but you know, also my computer fan is not in today because... No post on Sunday. Yeah, that's, that's, that's beautiful. So let's get started with this. All right. Now we're already getting started to get attacked at. That's fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So anyways, I really, I love this. Now supposedly this music is from Blood, but I actually have not a clue as to how it's from Blood because I played through Blood twice, but you know, I can't, I can't complain. Can't troll it up on 4chan too much about it, you know. But also happy Easter because today is Easter and I'm already getting attacked horribly by these imps and I feel like a scrub because I I blew through this pretty much relatively easily I didn't have too bad of a difficulty with it it's not easy of course the first level is pretty much a dick and a half because you don't start out with you know really a shotgun there's a couple interesting levels in here one that's based oh, I can't even say it because the ending of the game is hilarious I, I, I about died laughing I was like you gotta be kidding me you gotta be this guy just this guy's humor. Now, it did deserve a CAC award, I feel. <clears throat> it's also only, what, 13, 13, 12 levels technically long. And it deserved the CAC award it got because it is incredible. I have not played a WAD this good in quite some time. I love the design to it. It's very Blood esque. It's very Doom Raider esque. It's very just good esque. <laughs> Um, I don't know. The only problem is I've been trying to play through, um, oh crap, what's it called? Yes, what's it called? Have you ever heard of that wad? No, I'm trying to play through another mega wad right now that I can't recall. Reverie, I think, is what it's called. Um, and I kind of, oh, that frame difference. My fan, I should not be recording without a fan in my computer. But you know what, beggars cannot be choosers when you really want to just play Doom and showcase this bad boy while it's still fresh in your mind. Anyways, I don't really like Reverie. It's a 32 megawatt. It's good, it's just I don't really care for it. I'm playing through, trying to be a man and actually play through the game on Ultraviolence more and more often than not. But I just don't really care for Reverie and... and... It's not bad. It's well designed. It's just that guy loved to throw in chain gunners like every 10 seconds and I'm just starting to really hate that. <laughs> I don't have a problem with any other enemies, you know. We can all go on common ground and say Arch Vials and Chain Gunners are the most terrible enemies in Doom. And if you put them in anything, the map instantly becomes ten times more fucking difficult than it needs to be. And that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with difficulty. As I will say right now, this map set does eh, kind of turn into a Slaughter-esque style towards the end. With an up count on the last level of, I think, 987 some odd. Oh, fuck you, Revenant. I don't want to deal with it. Um, enemies. Which, in my opinion, did not break the game. Surprisingly, uh, because I'm not a really big fan of slaughter maps. I mean, there's some I've played that are actually pretty good. Because, I mean, some, it depends on the style. And the, this definitely did it right. Um, it's, it's difficult, but not too bad. Music seems incredibly loud, but I'll see you guys in the next level.